This is Vernon Oscar for News Live on the Jump Out here in Ateneo TV 100 for the hottest news in the Ateneo. A new craze has graced the school grounds for its being the most original of its kind, that being the wonderful art of cosplay. A combination of the words costume and play, cosplay takes us back to the roots of Japan. Reminiscent of what Western countries do during Halloween, cosplayers are welcome to dress up and even act as an anime character that they admire. Though it dates itself back to Japanese animes, cosplay does not limit itself to these alone. Cosplayers are welcome to even try out dressing up as their favorite movie, video game, or cartoon characters. A resident Azu cosplayer, Lara Florentes, started cosplaying at the age of 16. She shares with us her experiences as someone of the art. I started cosplaying because um, I get to be my own self whenever I cosplay. I express my own likes and hobbies. The events I've joined, um, as far as I remember, was uh, the last year's event, that was the start, um, MCTV, uh, Movie Mania cosplay event. And just recently, the Ateneo cosplay for a cause, and the others are photo shoots. Now, the very first anime event held in San Diego City was the Otaku Fest held last June 4, 2011. Just last year, though, at December 9, 2012, Animax Cargo made its third stop in Asia and the first of all its kind in the Philippines. With that, sources say that due to its successful finish, we can expect one of the biggest anime events in the world, Anime Festival Asia, to be held in Manila, Philippines next year or probably even this year. This has been Bernadette Oscar for News on the Jump Out. Stay tuned for more news from